Dude, what does that even mean? They were missing their heads? The fancy word for it is decapitated, Tommy. I know what decapitated means. What I meant is how do we know it didn't happen after they, uh, you know. Ew. Really? I'm just saying that if they were lost hikers and all, they probably weren't, uh, perfectly preserved. Like, what would happen if you threw a turkey carcass out in the middle of the woods? And I'm never eating turkey again. Thanks for that, Tommy. Nick was the one who read the flippin' article in the first place! But it was your stunning imagery that really brought it to life. Well done. Tommy does have a point, though. There's no saying for sure that those two things are connected. Abandoned theme parks? Sure. Reanimated characters in fuzzy suits? I don't know about that. Thanks for at least admitting I'm right about something. Was it really so hard? Kinda. Why do you guys always have to bag on me? Probably because you were the first one to run for the door. Nick, let's start putting these black files together. We'll start with those ones. Which ones? The ones you've grabbed so far, I guess. You know this would be easier if you just got some clarification from the client, right? I was specifically told not to contact them while we're here. Plus, I'm kind of afraid that if I go outside long enough to get a signal, Tommy's gonna bail. Yeah, your face is gonna bail. Can't you just send them a text message? And leave a paper trail? Better than leaving important papers behind. Just if you don't want to go outside, I mean. Mm, fine. So what do we do now? Keep looking, I guess. Just in case anything jumps up and screams, TAKE ME WITH YOU! If something in here that is not us starts screaming, TAKE ME WITH YOU! I'm definitely out of here, regardless of what you guys have to say about it. Fair enough. You gonna read one now? Yeah, why not? Figured I might as well give your dulcet voice a break. <laughs> Once upon a time in a, um, <clears throat> redacted town in the faraway kingdom of the middle of nowhere. I can practically feel the scumminess radiating off of this place. Delightful and affordable, which is really the more important thing. I can't believe you talked me to coming into this hole-in-the-wall conference. Well, I guess we might as well go check in. Wow. Not exactly a babe magnet, but hey, they're gonna be looking at my handsome face anyway. You're not that good looking, dude. Oh, shut it, hater. <coughs> uh, hello? Excuse me. All booked. I'm sorry. No vacancy. Half your parking lot is empty. How can you be fully booked? Got a big parking lot. Look, we'll pay double. Sterling. True. Where else are we gonna go? Every place else in this one-horse town's booked for months. Double not good enough? How about triple? Triple? Funny how folks from out of town do love the big words until they come back at you. No vacancy means. We've got a vacant room, Jim. No, we don't, Desiree. Yes, we do, Jim. Would you two excuse my husband and myself for a few moments? Thank you, darlings. Jim! What do you think that's all about? No idea, but the Happiness Hotel, this ain't. It doesn't matter. And you think they're not gonna get... Shh. Keep your voice down. This is ridiculous. It isn't the Bellagio for what we're paying for. Thanks about offering the pay triple, by the way. <laughs> Affordable my eye. Come on, what is that? Like, ten dollars and heal people money? Go on, speak a little louder. I don't think that they could quite hear you in the next county. Need the money, Jim. You do it, then, and ward them good. Fine, I will. Now then, we have a room in the back that's available. You would have to share, but there are two twin beds. You don't have literally one more room available, just one. 
I'm very sorry. We do offer online bookings for your future reservation needs. I'm sure that what my pal meant to say was that, yes, one room will be fine. Thank you. But, Drew, the ladies... We'll surely survive without you, Sterling. You dragged me all the way out here from the city under the pretext of business, not pleasure. So if I have to share a room with you, so be it. Thank you, ma'am. We'll take the room. Wonderful. And which of you will be paying? That'll be him. <sighs> there are your room keys. You'll want to head down the long hall and then head a right. Number 236 is at the far end. Thank you. One last thing. You'll pass an unmarked door that's just before yours. It is a guest room, not a utility closet. And it is taken. So please don't try the doorknob and don't look through the keyhole. We've had some problems with patrons doing that sort of thing in the past and haven't had a chance to upgrade it to a card lock yet. No walking in on the other guests? Seems reasonable. <laughs> yes, then. Let us know if there's anything you need. Someone's at the front desk here at all hours. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. Seriously, that was weird. The only weird thing here is you. First, the guy doesn't want to rent us a room. Then the wife interferes and says we can, but don't look in the creepy utility closet room next door. Better that than walking in on someone. Come on, Sterling. Just a couple more steps. You saw the parking lot, Drew. I bet all of these rooms are empty. That or people carpooled. It happens. Sterling, let it go. But you bet this isn't just some other room after all. Just look at it. And if you're wrong, you're gonna have to explain to that nice lady at the desk why you did exactly what she told you not to do. Live a little, Drew. Sterling, don't! There, see? It's locked. Now can we please? Just a sec. I'm gonna look through the keyhole. No, she specifically said not to. I know you're disappointed this trip isn't turning out to be the way you expected, but now you're crossing a line. I just want to make sure she wasn't lying to us. Dude! Yeah, there's something in there. Are you insane? At least now I know she wasn't lying to us. Good, because that totally justifies peeping, which is a felony, by the way. Would you keep your voice down? The only way someone's gonna know what happened is if you keep on screaming about it. I'm not screaming. Talking loudly, whatever. Just don't let her hear you. These walls are probably paper thin. Her? The woman next door. If she's not brain damaged or something. Huh? Why are you asking questions anyway? Isn't that just being an accessory to peeping or whatever? Not unless you took a picture. You have an oddly specific knowledge about this area of the law, my friend. Nah, she was just kind of standing. Standing? Facing the corner of the room, like a naughty kid or something. Weird. Speaking of weird... Check it out. Crimson Garden soap. Yes, soap in a hotel room. So very, very weird, Sterling. Yeah, but red soap? Hotel soap is always white. It's probably just the wrapper that's red, dummy. Yep, okay, just the wrapper's red. The soap's white. That's better. So what'd you say? Wanna catch a cab? Go find a dive bar? Dude, you just thought we had red soap. I think we need some sleep. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> Stop staring at me like that. You're always staring. I'm sorry. Turn around. I don't want to see you with that creepy face of yours. Stop crying. Stop crying. You hear that? Blessed silence. Hallelujah. You don't think he... Dude, it's none of our business. Says the peeper. Who's jet lag now? Just go to sleep, Drew. I'm going to go make sure the cab doesn't leave without us. You know, Uber is supposed to mean outstanding. Be right there.
Um, hello? Sorry, just your neighbor from room 236. I wanted to make sure everything was alright. Can't believe I'm gonna do this. Okay, then. Woo! Shake a leg, buddy! Coming! Yeah, you too, Mike. Catch you in the coma. Oh, I hate that guy. Hmm. What you doing out here? Just thinking. Look, she's probably fine. And how do you know what I'm thinking about? The woman at the motel, right? I looked through the keyhole this morning, when you were getting the taxi. And? And she was standing in that corner again. Or still. If she's been there since last night. Freaky. Do you think we should say something? To who? I don't know. The police? The owners? What if he hit her or something? Whatever. They probably have checked out by today anyway. Now can you please come back inside and stop pining for some woman you haven't met? I'm not pining. I don't even know what she looks like. Long black hair, pale skin. That's your type, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't. Come on. Now who's the crazy one? We don't have time for this. Do you want to miss our flight? It's a miracle I was even able to get two tickets on the red eye last minute. I want to get back to the city, but I'm just going to make sure she's okay before we head out. Uh, hello? Miss, are you okay? Do you need any help? Shoot. I think I scared her. Just here. There's something standing in the way now. What is that? Take a look. I really don't want to. Just take a look. Do you see that? Dude, it's a soap wrapper. Crimson Garden or whatever. You think they knew we were looking? Why else would they have covered the keyhole? Mail, dude. Um, look, I, I'm really sorry I looked into your room. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Just, uh, holler if you need anything, alright? Okay, good talk. And here are the keys back? Thanks so much, darling. Hope you had a pleasant stay. Yeah, we sure did. It's gonna be outside. Stupid cabs in this town never seem to get it right. Sorry, don't pay any attention to them. Was there something specific he was referring to, Sugar? Just the couple in the next room. They were fighting last night, so we didn't get a lot of sleep. I see. Actually, speaking of that, the woman in the next room. Can you let her know I'm sorry for bothering her? I tried to apologize, but she didn't actually say anything. I don't know if she even heard me. How were you bothering her? Just talking to her through the door. But you didn't actually look at her, did you? She didn't see you? N no you explicitly said not to. And a good thing you didn't. What's really going on in there? You're not gonna believe me anyway, but here goes. A long time ago, before my husband and I purchased this place, a husband and a wife stayed here. Strange folks they were. The former owner said he thought the husband had been cheating on his wife. Treated her dreadfully, yelling at her all the time when he thought no one was listening. And then he killed her. So the people staying in there right now... Honey, Jim and I haven't rented that room out the whole time we've owned the Hotel Paradise. What do you mean? You can't seriously believe in ghosts. I know. I didn't believe it either. The old fellow who sold the place, he warned us. And we didn't listen. We just bought the hotel. Hadn't even properly unpacked yet. He told us to stay away from the room, but we didn't want to frighten Becky with strange stories. She had an active imagination. I didn't want to give her nightmares. Not for something that wasn't real. We didn't think anything of letting her wander. The place was ours, after all. Right. 
red, Mama. That's the last thing she said to me. My baby girl, red. The old man warned us, but we didn't listen. Anyone who's ever looked in that room, anyone she sees, they die horribly. I don't understand. Better us than someone else. If only we believed, maybe Becky would still... There are always going to be curious folks, no matter what we tell them. And if those ghost hunter type folks come here, can you even imagine all the questions? The bodies? No. Better us watch over the room. Make sure it's kept safe. That she's kept away from people. Sorry for asking, but I don't understand. Why red? Oh, because of the way the woman looked, darling. She was an albino. Her eyes were red as sin. Like the red wrappers of the soap in your rooms? Almost the exact same, I'd say. Oh. You sure you or your friend didn't even take a peek? Oh! 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 Starling! You sure you didn't see her? You sure she didn't see you? Come on, man. Ghosts and keyholes? <laughs> this is just crazy. No one here was thinking it's real but you, Tommy. Oh, sure. Well, that's why you looked up the article about the hikers on your phone. Thereby basically debunking it. I have no regrets. Yeah, right. You... Whoa. What is it? The client. I... I think they're outside. Why? They just messaged me back. Tell whoever's searching the attic to turn out the light. I can see it from the street. Whoever's in the attic? 